Uh, it's a second home, you know. Uh, last year, you know, coming in as a newcomer, I didn't really, uh, you know, know the guys as well as I do now. So definitely feeling comfortable heading into this season. <clears throat> <laughs> yeah, no, I didn't. <laughs> What's that like? <laughs> uh, it's it's very surreal, but uh, you know God works in mysterious ways. So uh, I never questioned it. Um, it happened for a reason, and you know I'm grateful that it happened as well. What's he like, and what do you like about him? Uh, Co coach Boda is uh, he's an old timer. Um, you know he, he sticks to his ways, but he's a good coach overall. You know, uh, you mess up, you know he's gonna coach you right. Um, you know, his play calling, you know, he's he's a genius back there when he's calling the plays and whatnot. And uh, like I said, he's an overall, you know, model, role, uh, role model for me. What, what, what makes him a... What makes him a role model? I know, a genius. I mean, I oh, okay. Um, well, I got an example. Uh, my freshman year when I first went to UCM, that's the school where we came from. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, as a freshman, you're not really thinking about classes. I was more excited about football, but uh, he sat all the, all the freshmen down. He slapped a planner down in front of us. He said, this will get you your degree. And that, that's just a small example of how uh, detailed he is. You know, he pays attention, pays attention to the small things. And, uh, you know, that's what he taught me as well. How different is this offense from last year? From last year? Yeah. Uh, I, I would say it's, uh, we pass it a lot more. Um, as a wideout, we have more freedom at the line. Um, you know, they're putting us in positions to be successful, I believe. And, uh, you know, overall, I, I feel like we move the ball around pretty well. You know, we have a heavy backfield. Um, you have Pratt back there. You have the tight ends. Our offensive line has gotten a lot better as well. And then the wideouts, you know, we're pretty deep as well. So, you know, we're moving the ball around and just letting our playmakers get to space. When you say there's more freedom just for the wide receivers, just more option routes where the defense dictates what route you're going to run? I would say so, but uh, we're playing more so uh, comfortably. You know, so it's not so much where I have to get to this depth no matter what. It's, um, you know, I can play around with it as long as I get there. It's more of a trust thing between us and uh, Pratt. Can you talk to your relationship about, uh, with Michael Pratt? With Michael? Yeah. Um, when I first got here, he was the first dude that introduced me to the team and everything. And uh, he's been great. You know, uh, he's a classic role model, um, model citizen. You know, he's a great friend as well. You know, I can call on him whenever I need to. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, part of that's because I'm a senior. You know, I have to carry that weight. But uh, you know, me and Pratt, and along with the other receivers, um, there's a level of trust that's not only on the field but outside of the field as well. Did you have any doubts about making the jump? How successful you would be, or were you, did you be you pretty confident? You'd be oh, you're saying from D2 to D1? Of course. Um, I'll be honest, like, you know, any kid wants to play D1, but uh, the, you know, the reality of it is you have to understand that, are you good enough to play? And uh, I had to contemplate that for a while, but, uh, you know, ultimately just believing in myself and uh, keeping my faith uh, got, me, got me here in the position that I'm in today. How quickly did you realize you could do it here? Um, it didn't take that long. I just realized it's just football. I've been playing football since I was a little kid. Um, just in a different state.